Well, looks like Konami just fucked up severely. So, in this little recording that you're seeing right here, you can obviously tell about the title, Metal Gear Survive Official Trailer. So before I give my integrations of this, I'm going to show you guys what this trailer is. I've already seen it myself, but I think it would be fair to you to see it, and also see what I have to say for it in the regards to it. You'll find out, obviously, how it just said that. Peggy 18. So obviously, basically correlating to the Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes game. So that is Metal Gear Survive. The most retarded, fucking stupid, imbecilic name of a fucking video game in the Metal Gear franchise. Konami, what were you thinking? <sighs> PS4, Steam, and Xbox One. How fitting. So in regards to this, before any of you wonder, why am I getting so upset about this, let's actually take a look at the obvious stuff right here. Let's look at the ratio between this. We've obviously got 1,170,294 views on this. And in comparison, in the ratio of the video on likes and dislikes is that we have 10,356 likes to 40,118 dislikes. I forgot to put in my vote. Make that 19. Here's the thing. I know not to judge something before it comes out, but let's think about something here. That this is Konami. And for 15 years, they have been shanking us with the middle finger. And I've actually said that in my statement. I also, too, want to read. But it's not really this that's pissing me off, though. It's more of the fact is that they have the audacity to budget what appears to, what, from what I'm supposed to be seeing here, is that it's supposed to be a, a full functioning game. A full game. Not some sort of mini game aspect of the previous predecessor. It's a full fucking game. Hmm. Say that again. Oh my god. All right, now here's where, this is how I have a problem with this. And before I get to that, let's get into my little statement that I want to read to you. <sighs> Give me one second here, it's just,
Just can't believe it. It's it's fucking stupid. Okay, here we go. So this is basically my statement. Konami, you officially fucked up and corrupted the Metal Gear franchise. Really? So you mean to tell me that you placed a budget for the new Metal Gear Survive game, which looks like dread shit to an extent, but you couldn't use the budget to finish the Metal Gear 5 Solid Story. The Metal Gear, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 5. Now I know not to judge a game until it comes out, as per se. But let's face it, this is Konami, the same corporation that has kept shanking us with its middle fingers for over 15 years. This to me is not only a waste of good time, but a waste of a budget and a waste of a redemption. They don't give a fuck about us, and this is coming from me, from me, one of the easiest consumers to please. It's nothing more than a failed attempt of a cash grab. Konami, my advice is to hand the rights of Metal Gear back to Kojima. You're just gonna keep losing respect the longer you hold on to this franchise, or hold on to the rights to this franchise. So you have the audacity to push forward a budget to online creative content, to the Metal Gear Solid 5 content as well, and then try to push this out for 2017, but you can't even finish the fucking story for Metal Gear Solid 5! God! Just... It's gotta be the it's gotta be the suits. It just has to be. Cause I, I can't picture any blame to put on except for the, the suits of Konami. If any logical person is ever for whatever reason, if there's ever a higher position above where these suits are, fire them. Replace them. By all means. ASAP. As soon as possible. Because Konami, Konami is just, just fucking everything up. They just have a nefarious reputation of just shitting on every single thing that's supposed to be good. And then we have this shit. Now to an extent, I don't really have much of a problem with it per se. Because I know a lot of hardcore fans are going to come on to me and say, hey, well, I mean, you get the same thing in Metal Gear Solid 5, 4, 3, 2, and then, obviously, because there's supernatural elements, there's fictional elements that doesn't even exist, there's out of the ordinary, there's basically superhuman strength. I get that. That's not the part that's bothering me, though, is that the part that's bothering me is that this actually had something to be a good attempt in Metal Gear Solid 5's online shit. <laughs> Am I missing out on something here? Because, correct me if I'm wrong, because it's not going to be a part of Metal Gear Solid 5. From what I'm seeing, the first post-Kojima Metal Gear is a co-op survival game set in an alternate universe. I'm not placing any blame on IGN. It's not IGN that's producing the content. It's Konami, for the example of it. But the predictions of a lot of people were right. This is this is just horrible. Now, what could have made me just forget about this in to some to some way because I would still be pissed because if they didn't budget towards the the ending of Metal Gear Solid Five, this part they could have actually done. They could have put this in Metal Gear Solid Five Online as a mini game, kind of like how we have mini games where you go up against opponents when you're doing Bounty Hunter, when you're doing survival. Um, what was another one? Capturing discs, territorial holds. Those games where you go up against players. You could have had this in Metal Gear Solid V Online's creative area. Where you can gather points and then customize your character in that aspect. You couldn't do that in the other one? Instead, we're gonna... Is, this better not be a full fucking game. This better not be. Judging by this freaking comment here. Props to Ryan uh, Boydston, by the way. <sighs> just no, sixty or thirty dollars, regardless. I'm not paying a cent to a game like this. This game to me does not exist in the in the Metal Gear franchise. I so how do I say this? I renounce that this game will ever exist 
in the life of Metal Gear. It could have been a Metal Gear... It could have just been like Call of Duty's, you know, Nazi zombies, like a little mini game, just in that. But no, it's, it, it's a full game. So we're not going to pay attention to the, the Metal Gear stuff, but we're just going to ignore that. But Konami has couldn't even finish a Metal Gear game. They got Ground Zeroes, though, but that was with the help of Kojima. But they couldn't get five finished. So, I'm suggesting of three things. Option one. Hand over the rights and all things regarding Metal Gear, the franchise, and I would just, my advice is just to give it all back to Kojima. Because you are really just corrupting the hell out of the franchise and it's not going anywhere. It's not doing any bit good. Two. Fire the ones in charge of Konami. Because obviously, from the side of the coin, I, from from the uh, one side of the coin, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Or the other side of the coin, they do know what the fuck they're doing, and they just really care about taking money from people because they don't give a hell about consumers. They don't give a hell about their own employees. They don't give a rying, a flying rat's ass about any of us. It's just money, 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 money. Money does all the talking. Or, option three, shut down Konami. Shut down any distribution of Konami. Any products, anything available relating to it. Shut down all industry. Shut down and all, which I, I know that's impossible, even from the advice that I would just say. But you know what? That's just coming from me. But if one person can do it, a whole lot of people can express their opinions about it. Because of the way this this is going, Konami is not going to be la lasting long, and I really do feel sorry for the, for that one guy that has to go from like place to place to try to promote Konami in that area. I do feel sorry for that dude, because now he's going to have a real hard time because of this crap. I do feel sorry for him. Okay, but Konami just fuck you, just fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm just going to end it off. So that has been practically my rant on Konami. You just want to fuck things up. Fuck you. I will say this up before I end up. The one, th the one time that I will ever buy something from Konami, if it's ever the game that officially releases... In the future, if you have Solid Snake who finally meets Big Boss, that will be the only time, the only time, mind you, that I will ever buy something that was worth from Konami if they still own the rights to Metal Gear. But other than that, there's nothing else. Konami can just go screw themselves if this is how they're going to treat us. Because this is pathetic. So Konami, you suck and you fail. Oh yeah, and the worst part about it is I practically live 10 minutes around the corner from a Konami building. Oh my gosh, talk about how much I, just, I really just hate Konami right now. Well, I'm pretty much done with this rant. Konami, go fuck yourself. I'm out.